Managing multiple projects can get messy fast. Deadlines shift, tasks pile up, and before you know it, you're losing track of who's doing what. In this Motion tutorial, I'll show you how to use Motion for project management, not just to stay organized, but to actually take the stress out of planning. I'll cover the full workflow with the Motion app, setting up projects, creating and scheduling tasks with AI, using Kanban and timeline views, setting up recurring routines, all in one place. If you are ready to bring order to the chaos, you're in the right place. If you want to follow along or just see why Motion AI is one of the best productivity apps out there, I've left a link down in the description below this video. You can try it free for seven days, no credit card required. Just click below and start simplifying your workflow today. So let's start by creating a brand new project with the Motion Productivity Tool. I'll open up the app, head over to the Projects tab on the left sidebar. This is where all your work lives, by the way. This will be the place to check the status of my newly created project. From here, I'll click the plus new project button in the top left corner. Then let's click create project from scratch. Let's name this one motion tutorial video, and I'll drop a short description. Production tasks for motion AI tutorial video, including scripting, editing, and design. I can also set a start date, end date, and even assign a project owner perfect if I'm working with a team on this. Once it's created, the project opens up with a clean layout where I'll be able to add tasks, break them into subtasks, and track everything toward my bigger milestones. Whether I'm managing content production, launching a product, or onboarding a client, motion task management projects keep all your deadlines, tasks, and notes in one place, fully synced with my calendar. Now that I've set up a project, let me start by adding and organizing tasks inside Motion. I'll open the Motion Tutorial Video project we just created and begin adding some key steps. First up, draft script. Then, review talking points with team. Followed by filming, edit main video, design thumbnail, and finally, upload and schedule video tasks. Let's set them up one by one. For each one, I'm setting a few important details, like how long I think it'll take and when they're due to be finished. Let's say filming will take four hours. So I'll set that as the task duration. I'll also add deadlines, like making sure the thumbnail is done two days before launch and tag priority levels for the most time sensitive items. Some tasks are flexible, like editing, while others are fixed, like the shoot date. I'll walk those down by dragging them within the calendar so Motion knows not to move them. I could theoretically break bigger tasks into subtasks as well. For example, under Edit Video, I'll write in the description, Trim Footage, Sync Audio, and Add Captions, just as notes or instructions for the task assignee. Sadly, there's no proprietary function in the Motion app to create subtasks within tasks, at least in this stage in the game. Oh, but the best part, once I set up my newest project and tasks within it, Motion Task Planning AI takes over. It organizes my day and calendar around my pre-existing tasks, meetings, and other daily routines. So no dragging, no juggling, just smart AI optimized scheduling. Once my tasks are added, I can view and manage them in three different ways using Motion's Project and Tasks tab. First up is the List View. It's perfect for getting a clean overview of all your tasks sorted by due date, priority, or owner. Then there's the Kanban View, which gives you a board style layout. You can drag tasks between stages like to do, in progress, and done. And finally, there's the Gantt View, it's Motion's timeline style layout that shows you how tasks play out across your week. This view is a game changer when I'm managing deadlines across multiple projects. For example, it helps me balance multiple video edits so they don't all stack up on the same day. Whatever my preference is, Motion makes it easy to toggle between views and stay on top of the moving pieces. Now, here's where Motion's AI really excels. Once my project tasks are in, they're automatically scheduled into my calendar. You'll see edit video, design thumbnail, 
and other tasks appear at the best available times based on their priority, deadlines, and estimated durations. But here's the smart part. Motion doesn't just plan once and stop. Watch this. I'll add a last minute task. Let's call it update sponsor graphics. Now, Motion will instantly re-optimize the rest of my day. Now then, let's say a new meeting overlaps with a task. Motion will shuffle the schedule again to protect my most important deadlines. And if I mark a task incomplete, Motion finds a new slot, so nothing gets dropped. This is real-time time management. Motion AI keeps my day balanced and flexible so you stay focused without falling behind. If this is helping so far, now is a great time to try Motion for yourself. Just hit the link in the description. You'll get the seven day free trial, which is completely risk-free or scan the QR code you currently see on screen. Next in the Motion app tutorial, let's talk about routines because most teams have tasks that repeat week after week. In Motion, you can make any task recurring so it shows up automatically in your calendar. For example, I'll add publish video every Thursday at 10 a.m. and team review meeting every Wednesday. Now, Motion adds these into my calendar every week. No need to recreate them or drag things around. Whether it's posting, planning, or reviewing, this is a simple way to build structure into your project flow and let Motion handle the repetition. Before we wrap up here, here are some quick tips on how to use Motion like a pro and why it's one of the best productivity tools for project managers today. First, always set task durations. If editing a video takes four hours, don't skip the time estimate. Motion uses that to plan your day more realistically. Second, pin what can't move. Got a shoot at 2 p.m. on Friday? Pin it, and Motion will build the rest of your week around it. Third, use the Canvan board for live updates. Drag the video edit from in progress to ready to publish and everyone's instantly aligned. Fourth, batch similar tasks using labels like grouping admin or creative work and Motion will try to keep them together for a better flow. And finally, use Gantt View every Monday to spot bottlenecks before they start. You'll avoid overload and catch issues early. So that's how Motion makes project management simple, from building out tasks to automatically scheduling them for you. Whether you're working solo or managing a team, Motion helps you stay organized, avoid overload, and actually hit your deadlines. If you want to try it for yourself, I've left the link in the description, or you can scan the QR code on screen. You get a seven day free trial, and for this free deal to take place, there is no credit card required. If you found this Motion tutorial helpful, check out our Motion Productivity app review here on the Health News channel. We've also got deep dives on the best productivity tools to help you stay focused and get more done. My name is Steven. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.